Bucks and I uh, first met uh, 27 years ago, and that was at Collingwood. We, uh, I was traded from Adelaide Crows as a player, and, and Bucks was coming down from that one year at Brisbane, and uh, we lived together. Um, he was, I think, he just turned 22, and I just turned 20, so we were, we, were, we really were kids. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, it was an incredible year. I, I only lasted one year, and obviously, Bucks is still here 27 years later. Um, but we've remained great friends, um, super competitive friends too. You know, um, he's always got the best out of me in, a, I guess, a professional sense as well. Like he, he certainly opened my eyes up to, to how hard you have to work as a player to get the best out of your ability. And um, I guess uh, you know, I took my career to Geelong, and and he stayed here and became probably the, I mean, arguably the club's the club's greatest player. My whole journey here has been involved with Bucks. Um, you know, from when I walked in the door as um, my captain, and then obviously playing under Bucks um, now that he's my coach. So um, yeah, he's a guy that's just set a great example for, for everyone to, to follow. And um, he does what's best for, for the club and the group. And um, yeah, playing under him as, as a coach has been a really good experience. He's afforded me the luxury of learning so much and being able to um, you know challenge and have discussions and be really open and honest with me. And I really appreciate that. I've learned so much from um, chats that we've had about football, about life. and Obviously his professionalism and competitiveness have been a big influence on uh, how we've performed as a team uh, and as a club, so the actual performance side of it. But I think what we've seen over the last few years is also the personable side of it and what we've seen with Nathan, how he's put his arms around people coming inside um, our bubble and actually being a part of it and understanding that it's not just about winning games of football, it's about our club as a whole and, and what we stand for as a footy club. His impact on our group has been profound. You know, the, the encouragement that he he gives to players to, to go out and find themselves, you know, find what makes them happy and really challenges them on on that holistic approach is um, that's probably the most remarkable thing that I'll 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 take away from my time working alongside Bucks. You take away what we do on the weekend, just day to day. Being able to, to learn from somebody that you know has, I guess, experienced so much in his life, um, in a professional sense and in a personal sense, um, to be able to you know receive advice off someone like that has been invaluable. So um, yeah, I'm extremely fortunate. You know, but you just look at, at the bloke in in all forms. You know, the the way he deals with the media, the way he is with his family. Um, Friends, things like that. He's just all class the way he carries himself, and um, you know what you see is what you get. There's no fake. There's no bullshit with him. And I think more than anything, we want to celebrate what he's done here. As uh, not only we get a chance to reflect again about how good of a player he was, but also his influence as a coach. So he's someone who's probably going to go down as uh, arguably one of the most influential people in the history of our football club. And to say that for someone who uh, a club that's been around for 130 plus years just shows the influence he's had. The legacy he leaves is, um, I don't know if you can ever describe what a guy like that who's done so much for this football club is going to leave a, a huge sort of hole here. I don't think it's ever going to be filled, to be honest, but um, yeah, one that we're all so grateful that we're all part of his journey. Many words I could use to describe Nathan Buckley, but probably the one that I'll lean on is competitive. Authentic. Compassionate. Fight to describe Bucks in one word. Champion. I feel like uh, I've been blessed to be a part of this football club over a, a large period of time. Nothing lasts forever. I was going to be tapped at some stage. I'm, I'm so grateful for the role that the club has played in my life and all the people within it. It's definitely shaped the person I am. And now I'll uh, go into the blue skies of, uh, of whatever the rest of my life looks like and, um, and looking from outside in and, and wishing uh, that the club does its best and, uh, and is prospering uh, at, at, any, at any opportunity. Bye.